Hello everyone, this is Amanda Ray coming back to you with another video and today what we're going to discuss is how to get 100 subscribers fast, okay? And this is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with when they first start YouTube. I'm going to help you because I was one of those people and I can help you to get to 100 subscribers as quickly as possible by doing a few things differently than what you're currently doing. So the first and number one thing that I want to discuss is consistency. YouTube has something called an algorithm. And what happens is, is when you are consistent, they will start to direct your videos to more people to view them. Now, when you're not consistent, you won't see a lot of people watching your videos or subscribing to your channel because YouTube is not taking you seriously. Basically, that's it. So what you need to do is stay on track with giving out information, whatever it is, whatever you decide to talk about or discuss, you just want to do it as frequent as possible. I tell people, you know, like if you're going to do four days a week or three days a week, make sure it's that same thing every single week. Okay. Every single month. And what you want to also try to do is upload the same time every single day because people will look, be looking forward to watching your information at the same time you know when it comes on when it starts they'll be expecting your information or whatever it is that you're going to be selling or telling or talking about they're going to be expecting to see that at the same time every single day or at least three times a week so you want to upload as often as possible and as the months go by you'll start to notice that your subscribers will increase, your watch time will increase, and you'll be hitting that the 4,000 watch hour time and the 1,000 subscribers really, really quickly, okay? Once you get past your first 1,000, you'll start to notice that things will consistently flow. You'll have subscribers just about every single day, and your watch hours will continue to increase. But in order to do that, you have to stay consistent. So the other thing that I want to discuss is um, making sure that you have a catchy thumbnail. Now, if you are not a graphic person, you don't know what that looks like. What you need to do is go to other people's YouTube channels that's working on, that's discussing the same things that you're interested in. But look at what they're doing to their thumbnails and see if you can get something that's a little identical to what they're doing. It doesn't need to be the same exact thing, but look at the colors that they're using, the fonts that they're using, the pictures that they're using. And if you cannot create that yourself, you can go to fiverr.com and have someone create these thumbnails for you. Thumbnails are really important because it's the first thing that people see before they even click to your video. So if your thumbnail is not catchy enough or the words aren't vibrant enough, it doesn't pop, people may not click on your videos, okay? So what you wanna do is make sure that you have catchy thumbnails, thumbnails that stands out. It pretty much tells a story in itself before they actually click on your video. And that's what you wanna do. Again, you can go to Fiverr or you can create these yourself using Canva. They have PicMonkey. You can actually download an app onto your smartphone and start working on these thumbnails. And again, get ideas from other people. That's the best way to go. I tell people all the time, don't reinvent the wheel, okay? All you have to do is put your personality and your character to whatever is already there. Make it your own, okay? So thumbnails is really important. Make sure that you get someone to do them for you or you work on them yourself. That's going to increase your subscribers. The other thing that I wanna talk about is ask people to subscribe. So sometimes you'll see like in my videos, I'll have like a, a little subscribe pick come up and it's asking people to subscribe to my channel. When you want someone to do something, what you need to do is ask for it, okay? Ask your people, your viewers to subscribe to your channel and that will help, okay? Whether you have the button come up at some point on your page or you just ask people to subscribe, they will subscribe to your channel. And it may not be the first time, but as they continue to watch the information that you're giving, they find some value in what you're giving, or if they find you funny at whatever it is that you're saying, they will subscribe to your channel. So you wanna make sure that you are asking people to subscribe. If you don't wanna say it yourself, just put that little button at the bottom, that little pick that asks people to please subscribe to your channel and you will start to notice that people will do what you're asking them to do. I used to be like shy in the beginning and I really didn't wanna ask people to subscribe. I just wanted to give out the information and someone said to me, if you want people to subscribe, just ask them. So I'm just giving the same advice because it definitely works, especially 
when you're trying to get to that first 100 subscribers. Another thing that you want to do is you want to interact with your audience, okay? So when it comes to interaction, I don't do it a lot, but it does help. Like if you're giving information and you can ask your audience, you know, in the comment section, talk to me about what it is that you would like for me to give you information about, okay? Ask your audience to put information in the comment section. Ask them to like and subscribe. Ask them to put a short comment on your video, okay? So this will help people to interact with you, but not only that, this will also help with the YouTube algorithm. It'll get more people looking at your videos and it's another great way to get to your first 100 subscribers. So don't feel like, you know, you don't wanna ask some questions. You know, there's certain topics that I speak about and I'll just say, if you've been in this situation before or if this happened to you before, share your story with me. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with what I'm saying and people will start to put information in the comments. So interact with your audience. And then last but not least, you want to focus on one niche. You want to focus on one, okay? Focus on one targeted audience. So with that said, you don't want to be talking about your comedian one day and then one week later, you're into techie stuff and you're into electronics. Stay focused on one thing at a time, okay? Because what's gonna happen is you're going to lose your audience. They're not gonna know whether or not one week you're gonna be speaking about something they're interested in and the next week something they're not interested in. So as an example, you have a channel that's about animals, about pets, okay? Maybe you got a pet bird. I got a bird, she's my pet. She don't love me as much as she love her dad, but I got a pet bird, okay? So I don't want to come on my channel one day and I'm talking about my pet bird and I'm giving you videos for an entire week about my pet bird. You love birds. You have been a bird lover forever. Now you have this subscriber that subscribed to your channel because they think they're going to be getting information about a bird. But then next week I turn around and now I'm giving information about eating food. And now I'm telling you about different recipes that I like to make. People that are that subscribe to your channel because they wanted to hear about birds are now going to be confused because now next week you're talking about food okay and that's not what they're looking for so you want to just try to stay at, and you know in the beginning i understand because i was there at one point you don't really know what you want to talk about and maybe from one month to the next you change your mind just once you change your mind try to stick to that one thing try not to go back and then now you're back on something else okay so if you're gonna do animals, you're gonna talk about your pet dog, your cat, your fish, your bird, whatever it may be, try as much as possible to stick on that and then talk about things about your bird, what your bird eat, what they like to do, little tricks that they like to do, maybe the things that they like to speak about or talk, maybe they learned a new trick, the different toys you buy for your bird. You know, you can actually start broadening that topic on that niche, okay? So now you're not just talking about your bird, you're talking about the different activities, taking your bird for a walk or taking her outside for the first time or how she behaves in a car, whatever it may be, just stick to that. Now, if you're gonna talk about food, stick to food, and then you can broaden the topic on that, broaden the range on that. Now you're going into different things that you like to make, the things that you like to buy, why you eat certain foods, certain foods you don't like, why you don't like eating those foods. You can go into nutritional facts and, you know, different things like that. But you want to stay as targeted as possible on one topic at a time and then just make sure that you are consistently mapping out what it is that you want to discuss. So what I like to do is over the weekend, I literally map out what I'm going to discuss for the week, okay? And then not only that, if I want to get into details on a certain topic, I write it down so that I stay on track about what I'm going to discuss. So you can literally, if you're going to do three videos or four videos a week, you can take one day and jot down everything that you want to discuss for the week. What topics, the things you want to, the points you want to touch on, and then you're done. Okay. And then now all you have to do is record yourself, upload your videos, you know, do your editing, your thumbnail, and then you're all set to go. But the main thing is, is just really staying consistent, the thumbnail, making sure that you're asking for subscribers, interact with your audience. If you miss any of these things, it's going to really take a long time to grow your channel. Believe me, I, I remember the days when I was at 100 subscribers. For me, it happened fast where I was able to grow my channel because I was consistent. I was excited to see five subscribers, or 10 new subscribers, 
or 50 views or 100 views and that's what kept me motivated and that's another thing check your channel as often as possible when you actually notice that you're getting somewhere that's going to inspire you and encourage you to keep moving forward so when you get some time you have some downtime check out the stats the analytics of your channel that's going to help you to stay focused to keep moving forward when you've actually hit a milestone you're going to want to keep going it's going to motivate you to keep going and that's how you start building that audience build your following and not only that you can start actually making some change and some money with youtube so i hope that this information has inspired someone i will be bringing to you weekly videos about business motivating you inspiring you helping you to start a business build your brand work from home leave that nine to five if that's what you're looking to do that's what i'm here for so that's what i'm going to be teaching you so if you're interested in any of that information or if you gotten some education from the information that I shared with you, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, become a part of the Amanda family <laughs> where I will be bringing to you information on an ongoing basis like someone did for me many, many years ago. So thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next week and have a great day. Stay blessed.